She was a wonderful, wonderful vampire nurse. I did meet a fellow, oh, what was his name? Hamilton. Oh. Huh. You know, he's a very, very acceptable young man. I, hmm. There's a movie coming out, too. Oh, yes, I think I remember hearing about that. Crazy. Oh, and, and General Custer wanted to marry me. General Custer wanted to marry a lot of people. Kids Dude, that's gross. Were you only 17? Yeah, he was the scamp. <laughs> I warned you about him. But, yeah, it seems like people live so long that people will be like, what was it like in 2018? That's cool, right? Yeah, and, and I guess I could have some conversation with some of you and write a really interesting book. Yeah, see? You're a history professor. Yes. Yeah, we both, yeah. I'm a women's, I'm a women's history professor. He's a regular history professor. You could interview us so we could tell well, you the you real history. So I'm the ultimate historian. No, that's what I mean. It's pretty fucked up, right? Like, I'm a regular history professor. Regular history, like women's history. Yeah. Not really if you go on the question, but sorry. Hey, you sound more normal. That's good. Keep yeah. it up. Gavin, I'm still worried hey. about you. How are you doing? Oh, I think he's doing a bit better. He's talking normally. That's something, right? You got right. And I eat, and that's the important part. I eat something, and I'm feeling a little better. But exactly. is he going to stay this way, or? Well, it's Gavin. It's important to keep eating. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I mean, look, dude. That's fair. Hiking at night is going to be really different. It's amazing. Let me turn to it. Adults are like. And now that you're looking on the brighter side of things, okay. having a more positive attitude, you look much better. Thanks. I think I'm going to go eat some more. Good call. <laughs> okay. and, right. and you two can go home whenever you like. It Don't seems to be doing much better. Much better. We're, we're all in more. Just going to go eat some Oh, thank you. Yeah, okay. He'll be all right. He'll be all right, Sam. He's really, he's really fucked up. He'll be all right, trust me. But is he going to... Some people adapt to the change better than others. But is he going to stay that way, or are you... Yes, he'll be fine. Well, if he doesn't stay that way, then Zin has to watch him die. He's not going to die. Don't talk like that. Well, if he ever found a way to become unmortal... Or unimmortal. If he took, if he took Elizabeth. Our, Elizabeth. Well, Liberty offered, Liberty offered, and he declined. I mean, look, there's no way out of this, right? So he'll he'll there are ways out of it. There are, there are plenty of ways out of this. Okay, but there's no way to actually just stop being a vampire and go back to being an ordinary human being, right? Not as far as I know. No, then he'll They're just hard to do. Unless he wants to sell his soul to the devil or... Exactly. Yeah. I mean... Unlikely. Yeah. Look, just give him some time. Make sure he stays fed. Okay, I'm not worried about it. You Don't let him get angry. I know, I know. I'll keep an eye on him as well. I promise you, I did this for the good of both of you. Yes, Brandon. If you guys start running out of supplies, you could always let me know. I've got a good bit of resources hanging around. That's true. I'm not glad to hear it. Because Brandon's apparently mega rich. <laughs> oh, do you have a private jet? Reinforced with no windows, so, so there's no light coming in or out. That would be free travel back and forth right? to California. The festival. The whole, the whole rave. I can now go. Brandon, yeah, hook me yeah, up. Brandon, you're going to become a glorified chauffeur for these folks. Brandon, I mean, oh no, I'd rather we're buddy. driving. I'd rather we're driving it. So. I mean, if you wouldn't mind helping me get out to the East Coast, I'd appreciate it. We could I'm rave in Jersey it. and go to Burning Man in California. Well, we can't be near fire, can we? Well, you might want to stay a little farther away from 
Burning Man is in the desert. It's a big desert. You can't go to Burning Man. But but what are you going to do during the day? (laughs) Sleep, like I always do? Mm. Seems a little unprotected to me. I have an RV that's blacked out. Uh, well, I suppose. As long as no one suspects us, like that person who supposedly hacked in. Uh, yeah. I don't know. None of my Reiki students have ever figured it out. I kind of wonder, like, what our family's thinking. Like, where did we go? Well, you you know my story on that. What is your story? Uh, they died in a crash shortly after I was torn. On, like, did someone Oh, I'm do so it? sorry to hear that. Oh, you're forgetting things again, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately. It happened. Wolves got in. Oh, right. There are wolves trying to kill me, too, and that's why you sent all this stuff to protect me. Yes. Not normal wolves. You mean lichens? Yes. Wait, are there? why are there lichens after you, Elizabeth? I don't know. Brandon, care to illuminate? Yeah, that's a good question. Apparently, there were... Uh, a bunch uh, roaming the uh, northeast corridor going after the new bee. That's me. Some of them set off motion alarms, and then I sent some def- some of my defense people to everybody else. And he sent me food. And yes, he sent that yarn. She has Wait, so there are, there are lichens, let me get this correct, there are lichens going after neonate vampires? In the northeast corridor, at least. Oh dear, that's oh, that's not. Maybe good. I should stay put here. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't leave California. Maybe no. I should go to California. Well, we'll 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 have to we'll have to deal with this. But I want to go to can't the rave. Have, we can't have this nonsense. Where's the rave gonna be? <laughs> uh, we could do it in the Hellfire Club. We could, but that would require everyone traveling out to D.C. And that's not Brandon the vampire's not the strongest creature around. You guys are pretty easy to rend in half. Uh, not helping? I mean, I, my offer still stands. If anyone wants to become stronger than they are, you're welcome to speak to me. Yeah, if anyone wants to become a demon... Am I going to learn how to fight stuff now? No. Because I'm not. Yes. I haven't had to fight anyone. She's full of nonsense. I've had to fight plenty. That's because you pick fights. And drink from winos. I fight a lot of farmers. Wait, wait, wait. Drink from winos? She drinks from cows. Don't ask. I kill people when I try to turn them, so I tend to stick to cows. But lately, winers have been very tasty. (laughs) So, this is kind of a difficult question, but... So we know what happened to Brandon's family, but what about the rest of us in our families? Do they just, do we forget them? Mine think I died in the drowning, so they didn't come looking for me. I haven't really talked to anyone besides Gavin. I haven't thought about it. Depends on the circumstances. I mean, if your family is still alive, stay in contact with them. If they think you're dead, that's up to you. Mine are probably just worried. So I can just text them and be like, hey, mom, I'm a vampire. What should I I didn't say? I didn't say tell them you were a vampire. Oh. So when she sends me... Hold on, you met and you moved. Kind of true. I 
mean, I I have a I have a sister and a brother in law and parents. I I haven't talked to them in a week, but I sometimes don't talk to them in a week, so you know. Well, there you go. And oh. Adriana's sister is a vampire, so I don't know. But That's apparently true. he hasn't been in contact with her for a while. That worries me a lot. Why would you turn someone and then not have contact with them? Unless maybe Unless it was like, 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 like our situation, our situation. And, I and I didn't really didn't remember run. what happened. Adriana, are you on the East Coast or the West Coast? I thought she said she was in New York, but maybe I'm wrong. She's, no, she's in New York. I don't, you don't think the werewolves got her, do you? Maybe the... I hope the werewolves didn't get her sister. Well, I hope not. Is there a way I can check? Brandon, you have a lot of context, right? Yeah. I can put some people on to it. There to figure out what's going on. Yeah, that, that would help. That would help. And then, and actually, then if I have to personally come up and let and let Adriana out of her room, I can, I should be able to just do that, right? I mean, I could just super strength the door open, maybe. Hmm. Be careful, though. Is there a way? Yeah, somebody's got to let her out. But, but be careful of the lichens if they're in the area. I can let her out. I don't fear them. Yeah, but you're going to want something for it. I don't want Adriana to owe you. I'm going to... Adriana is a friend of Margot's. I'm quite fond of Margot letting me use her body, so I'm happy to do it for a charge. And she, she left the door open for me to come back, so she didn't charge me for that. It's only the big that I charge people for. You know, not being a vampire, eternal wealth, fame, that lady you've had a creepy crush on for 20 years and you've never been able to tell her because she's been married. Adriana, I'm sending someone to, to, uh, to let you out so that you can... But please take precautions. You know, take someone with you. Don't go by yourself. It's confusing at first when you... Become a vampire. This is why. This is why we do this. This is why we try and keep you safe until you get your bear. Scary. You wake up and you're there alone with no explanation, and you're terrified and locked in a room. Like well, Goldie, the, why can't you wait? Why can't you be there when we wake up? She can't be everywhere. Well, Doctor Horatio didn't let that happen. Well, that's true, but he, it was a different age then. He didn't, you know, he was I able to up, stay. I woke up in an infirmary full of other people with nurses, and I was never alone after I was through. Well, I'd like to do it that way, but. But things change, moving around is too easy, both people and information. That's that's largely the trouble. I mean, look at how quick they managed to get to, to uh, the, get the locations of the rest of the people from my group and just send security after them. That's one of that's one of the reasons. I mean, if you're all together, it's much easier for you to come to harm. Why don't you just stay with people when you turn them? Well, sometimes I do, but sometimes I can't. I mean, I didn't turn everyone in this group. Sophia turned me. She made my life better. So I'm doing what I can to make sure that you're all safe and that you have, you know, a group of people to... Mm, snarling at the door. What? Snarling? Like a an angry dog? I don't open that door. Who's near you? Anyone? Anyone? 
Elizabeth, you need you need to get out of there. What do I do? Where do I go? Do you have a back door? I do. Do you have a you car? Have uh, yeah, but it... Baseball yeah. bat won't work. Do you have anything silver? Um... Brandon, do you, how close are you to Elizabeth? Can you get someone over there? Yeah, I can get someone over there. Two minutes. Uh, then, then please hurry, because I can hear them knocking on the door. Do not answer the door and do not say anything. They're coming to the door! Yep. Oh, no. Elizabeth? Brandon, you better hurry. Uh, uh, Elizabeth, back door, alley to your left. Go. Oh, dear. Now. Always fun to see. Elizabeth? Oh, boy. Oh, dear. <sighs> this is why you don't just drink from random people. This is why you should have an adult vampire with new vampires to help keep them safe. You think you're so powerful, why can't you have the people you've turned who are already old vampires? I didn't turn her. Well, maybe you didn't turn her, but there has to be somebody who would be willing to sit with a new vampire and make sure they understand what the fuck is going on with them. I woke up in my room, well, Margot woke up locked in her room. She's coming through at this point, because even she's fucking pissed at you. She woke up in her fucking room with nobody. No question, no answers, no explanations. All she knows is her friend attacked her. Why do you think that's fucking okay? That's, that's not, not my okay. doing. What's going that on? That wasn't my doing. What happened? Elizabeth got attacked maybe by lichens. What? What's a lichen? A, a werewolf. A werewolf. werewolf. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Werewolves, are you, too? Are you okay? We, we, she hasn't come back on. We don't know if she got out or not. Well, fuck. Where is she in real life? I think she's in Jersey. Is anybody, is anybody nearby? Oh, Brandon, Brandon and somebody. But have they reached there yet? The, the they are the looking. There's she's not there? No. But okay. there's no signs of struggling or anything. Given the time frame, I think maybe she got out. I hope so. Otherwise, there will be at least signs of a struggle. And they didn't see any lichens. It was empty. I mean, it looks like she turned off the camera. I, I... Well, her camera went blank, and then there was screaming on the mic, and then the mic went silent. Well, shit. I... This is so frustrating. This whole... It is. Communic having to communicate only like this. I mean, one sec. Well, this is exactly this is exactly why we do this because you know if she's got an attack, if you were all in the same place, then you'd all be attacked. But if we were all, this would help her. You can't just you're new vampires. As sure. powerful as we are, we're not indestructible. I'm just lucky I found you guys. I mean, I stumbled on this link. I mean, look, it's not like you're all my best buddies, but we're, we're in this together at this point. I agree. We're I'll help you anywhere I can. Lost away forever. I have some people who think they found them. They don't have much silver, and they don't know why they would need it. But... The best they could do is chase and maybe body block. Well, that's that. That's true, Adriana. But not everyone has access to the Jersey Devil. I mean, there's more than just you know this group. And honestly, I may or may not have been the Jersey Devil at one point, and then got him killed. He's a he's a whiny little piss baby. He wanted power and was willing to make a deal for it. Are you guys still I mean, there? he lost his wife, but Jersey Are you still Devil there? married. Are you still there? Yeah, we're here, we're here. They're, they're are the you house. okay? They're in the house. Elizabeth. They're in the house. Where are you? I'm still, I'm still in the house. Where are you? Uh, under the table. Brandon, send your people back yeah. immediately. Of course, of course. What? I talked to you. Okay. Things are going to, uh, 
get really bright, cover mm. your eyes, okay. and stay quiet. I'm under the table. Stay there. Okay. So somebody, okay. Uh, somebody will uh, find the shoe. They'll tap you on the shoulder three times. That's how you know it's, it's one of my people. Okay. Oh dear. I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing my eyes. I'm closing my eyes. Stay, stay strong, Elizabeth. We'll get you out of this. Now we don't know for sure that they're lichens. We don't know who they are. She said she heard howling though. It's bright. There are bright. a lot of things to howl. It's bright. There's sounds. It's bright. Not. It's bright. <sighs> okay, okay. Stay there. Someone should tap you in a few moments and then they'll all leave. Okay. Okay. Alright. You think it's safe? Once they tap you, count to ten and then and then you come out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Okay. I, I think it's okay. Should be. All right. Is everything okay? We're all worried about you. Are you okay? I'm fine. I think I'm fine. What happened? You don't look good. Uh... Something got in. Did you fight a werewolf? Something. You're bleeding. It, it was small. I'll be fine. I'll be okay. What? The thought was small? It, it was, it was small. It, the thing I fought, it was small. They sent in something small. And said something about an initiation. Oh, boy. Uh, That's never good. Goldie, you know anything about initiation? Like, I, I don't know anything about initiation. Initiation? No, I, I don't know. This is not... This is not anything that I'm aware of. Initiation? There's so many... Uh, Calls and gangs in the air. It could be any of those doing something stupid. I mean, it was well, definitely there was definitely snarling and growling. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Are you all? Right? You don't look well, Brendan. Do your do your people have some first aid there? They can render her, or perhaps take her to somewhere safe. My people don't know about this stuff yet. So, uh, I can I kind of would rather have permission before I informed them of everything. That well, they no, but perhaps they could bring her to your house or to somewhere a little safer. I could post security. I might be able to see if it's a safe house I could get her to, but that would take some time. All right, Elizabeth, how are you feeling? Hungry. Just hungry. What? Just regular hungry for more blood. All right. Uh, we'll have some sent over. Okay. I think you need to get out of there. Well, There's we have to find a place detail. for her to go. There's a security detail around. Oh, now to set it down. Yeah, you're not going to be safe there anymore. I don't think you're going to be able to stay there anymore. They know where you are. I'm not even sure these are lichen. This is very strange, and if it was small... It was small. They said something about its initi initiation. Well, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't sound like... They're fond of sending their puppies in to do initiations. Hmm. New worlds or child wolves, they tend to send them in to pick vampires off. It's a pretty classic battle. It's a good first battle for a baby. I mean, it, uh, it makes sense. I'm hmm. new, they're new. Maybe that's what they're doing. Wait, 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 werewolves have puppies? Everything has 
his puppies, his babies, his new things. That just in other like words, a new, a newly turned lichen. Just as you are infant vampires, you're not also actually the werewolf. Infant. The werewolf thing can be passed along. If if the wolf has a, a baby, there is a chance that the baby will also be a werewolf. Nothing bad. Vampires though. can do the same. Nothing bad. I'm immune to that stuff, right? Since I'm not human anymore, right? Nothing bad you could can happen. Could she turn part werewolf? I I don't want to. I be. don't think so. I've never had a, a werewolf attack a vampire trying to turn them. I think they wanted to kill me. From the readings and things I found, it can go the other way around, but it can't. It can't go vampire to werewolf. But it can go what werewolf to vampire with a chance of the lichen probably staying. So she could get infected by a werewolf and turn from a vampire into a werewolf? No, 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 no. Other way, other way around. I like being a vampire. A werewolf can be turned into a vampire and still sometimes maintain like and flow but that's about it. Okay. How, Zin, how are you two doing? Um, I got him home. We're in one piece. He ate a little more. I'm still really worried about him, though. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. You sound a little better than you did before. I'm feeling a bit better. I'm going to be fine. I'm feeling uh, like I need to move. Gavin, you need to eat again soon. I will go eat again soon, I promise. Adriana, I'm seeing a message from you about something here. What did you say? Hang on. The book has a spell. A spell. If we were together, I could have released the Jersey Devil. Mm, I don't know if he's still standing. Is he? He's not. I mean, his body is God knows where, probably being ripped apart by wild animals as we speak, and his soul is currently stuck in so far in hell, I'm pretty sure not even Satan could get him out. Maybe the werewolves could have him instead of me. Do you remember the last night of our grouping? What happened with me? Because I think he's just going to stay there for a while. No, that's a terrifying experience. I hope so, but you never know what's in those books. You never know, that's true. I didn't mean for the spell that I did to... Well, never mind. I, uh... Okay. Elizabeth, you're okay. I'm okay, I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna go clean up my face a bit. Um, I'll be back. Just a minute. Okay. 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 Brent, Brent, and you have people there to keep her safe, right? Yeah. Okay. Are we um, in- that experience, stun guns, did walk on lichens pretty well. So, that's what they're going to use. Is that shit going to come for the rest of us? I don't think that's a problem. Well, if this link has been hacked into... They might be able to know where we're at through our IP addresses. Yes. Well, using Hangouts, which is relatively secure, but then again, I've done it, so... I just, I don't want any of that. I just, you know, want a normal life without a whole lot of pain. And with, I guess, without going out into the sun. I don't, I don't want to fight anything. I... I think that the uh, normal life thing kind of went out the window. I think that's over for all of us, even the ones that chose it. Become a vampire. That that ended for you. Yeah. So things are going to come try to kill me. Got it. Okay. Did I get a gun? Like, what the hell? Yeah, I want a gun. You could use a silver knife. I wouldn't go with a gun. They're noisy and then the police show up. Stun gun. 
that usually works on just about anything. With what, silver in it? Mm -hmm. I would recommend silver. Look, Goldie, you did this to us. Can you do anything to protect us? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who's laughing? I'm laughing. You haven't done anything to protect them yet. Brandon well, I wasn't did. aware that there were lichens attacking them. Thanks, or something Brandon. else attacking them, for that matter. There isn't supposed to be things attacking them. How is this supposed to go? You're supposed to wait out your, your time and get used to being a vampire and then go out into the world. That's how it's supposed to work. But right now we're being... Well, this is not something that this is not something that that is usual. This is not a normal thing. I don't like this. No, I don't like it much either. <sighs> well, perhaps I can contact the institute and see what's see if there's something we can do. For this is this is not a contingency that that we even expected. This has not happened. So now there's a war, and we're new. I don't know when this started, and I don't know who started it, but as soon as I get to the bottom of it. So, no, I apologize. This is not normal. I can try contacting Dr. Horatio and see if he knows anything. Oh, I've sent him a text already, but I'm, I'm not sure that, you know. I mean, it's, it's eight hours ahead of, you know, here in England, so... I just want to not be attacked. I was going to go... Well, I no, to my go, poor dear, I don't want you to be attacked either. I wanted to go help Adriana. Hmm. All right, give me a moment and I'll see what I can do. I don't like that woman. I'm Goldie, yeah. A little too uppity in my opinion to think she's the most powerful thing in this world when she's not. Oh, what I would give to crush her skull. That would be fun. her. Well, to be fair, that one's a deal. Not a people. She's people. Well, we all used to be people. And she's arguably sort of a people half the time. Or at least as often as she likes the original. Well, I don't want Margot to go away. Yeah, Margot's cool. Well, Margot wouldn't go away, per se. We just share the body. It's like a weird symbiotic relationship. She gets to not be a human, or not be a vampire anymore, not have to eat blood, not have to go out. To avoid the sun, she gets to do everything she wants to do, but she gets to keep living forever, and I get this fleshy body to play around with. Can she hear us? She can hear you. And what I does miss, she think of her? I miss you, Margo. Margo misses you, too, and she's she's just having fun watching y'all crumble around as, as you realize that vampires are not the most powerful thing in this world. I Yeah, I've known that one. I just feel bad for what happened. That I hurt her. So, uh, Liberty, mm -hmm. you, um, you're still into making deals, huh? I am! I might be interested in working for you. I'm always happy to have a new employee. What do you want? I want to be able to help people and not kill them. Oh, I can give you that. I can, and I can healing powers. I can, I can help you with your raves. You can definitely can. Ooh, that'd be fun. I know how to throw a good party. <laughs> Liberty, could you keep us safe if we made some kind of deal with you? I could. I have... A lot of people under my employ who are not great men, but can throw their weight around. I don't think so. I'm just... I'm so I think my ass is good, but they don't tend to come with 
having to give up as much as I'm thinking you would have to. Then I don't know what she's going to offer. You're fucked. So one way or another, if you die, you're going to hell. Either you get to hang out with me and get some cool stuff in response, or you get to continue to be a vampire. Yeah, this is pretty classic uh, um, manipulation tactics, establishing a false dichotomy. I don't mind being a vampire. I just don't want to have to deal with being attacked by tiny monsters. Being a vampire is fun. You do whatever you want. I'm just here to make the deals. I can't force you to shake my hand. I can't force you to sign the paper. Oh, I gotta tell you, if I'd gotten to you before I got to before I got to Goldie, I might have let you fix the pain. It would be a little easier. And I would have I wouldn't have made you into a vampire. Oh well. Too late. We're making I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make this work. It's gonna be fine. I just don't wanna be attacked by monsters. All right, I've contacted the Institute, and they're going to send some people for you. Um, and we can return to the Institute for a bit and figure out what's going on, and that way you'll be safe there. That doesn't solve the problem with Adriana, though. No, no, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to, to sort out Adriana as a separate case. I have, I have informed the better sister. Could we come to the Institute for a while? Well, of course. It might be safer than this. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Think about it. I'm not sure how much I trust them. I don't think they're going to send werewolves after us. Well, maybe we're not. No, 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 no. The institute. The institute is. It's it's a center for for health and healing. It's not. It's a really nice place. Yeah, I mean, I've heard incredibly. It's like going to a spa, really. That's why I called Goldie in the first place. I, I had heard really incredible things about what they could do for people like me. Like I was. Yeah. I me think too. you should wait. Yeah. I'm just concerned I'm just concerned for your well being. Anyway, I've texted you all a number. So if you do, you know, if you decide that you want to go to the institute and stay, call the number and the driver will come and get you. Brandon, can I take your guards with me to get to the institute? That depends on uh, on what the other staff want. If if the high ups are okay with it, they could escort you down there too. But depends on them. Okay. Is that good with you? That's fine with me. And so I'm forgetting your name. Goldie. Too short. Yeah, Goldie. Is that okay with you? I'm I'm sorry. I was uh, answering a text from the institute. Uh, what was What was the plan? She wanted the security I faced around her to travel with her to the institute. That would be fine. Okay, I'm gonna. Once we're done this call, I'm gonna do that. Well, you especially, I would like to go back to the Institute, because I need you to be somewhere safe with it. Okay. All right? I, still want I think to I'm going to take my chances with Liberty. Oh, Kismet. That would be better than... Why don't, you talk to, why don't you talk to Dr. Horatio before you make a decision? And see what he says. Dr. Horatio has always wanted the best for me. Then talk to him and see what he says. Yeah, I'm kind of kind of putting in a vote that we don't all sell our souls without thinking about it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This is so crazy. I'm not really sure. You haven't, you haven't been you haven't been vampires for a week. And you're already trading your souls? And I'm hungry. I just want more food. I said food. I'm Isn't it there yet? Yes, but I'm not going to open the door now. Well, there's security there. That's true. I'm going to go get food. It should be at the front door waiting for you. All right. I don't know. 
Harry, well, let's talk. Let's talk. And then I'll talk to Dr. Horatio, too, and then I'll make my decision. I mean, that works for me. I would love to be able to heal people. That's all I've ever wanted. I mean, I can give you that in any way. Healing touch or just the ability to know what's wrong with somebody and how to fix it. Yes, but aren't you already healing people through Reiki? Yes, but I always wanted to be a doctor. Well, if you come back to the Institute, we'll be able to work with you. But you keep going to raves and Burning Man and... But that's fun. Yes, but you have to work for it. I if do work. If it's too good to be true, then it probably is. You know, I was never allowed to be what I wanted to be when I was real in my age. So now that I'm 17 forever, I want to do what I never got to do. Well, you can, but you have to put in the work for it. If you come back to the Institute, we can teach that to you. But you keep insisting on leaving. Guess what I got? Blood. Good. Oh. And I'm starting to like being in the dark more. Is that normal? Well, yep. yes. I'm kind of missing daytime. I gotta, I gotta say, I'm making it work, but I like the darkness. Hmm. Mm. Daytime's overrated, but all the interesting things happen at night. <laughs> these special lights in my house they help me metabolize vitamin D mm. Kismet you don't need those anymore you're a vampire <laughs> <laughs> but they're cool lights they're cool lights and you, of course you can use them but they're not actually helping you <laughs> Come back to the Institute, dear. If you want to be a doctor, we can help you be a doctor. But you have this, to train. This isn't what Dr. Horatio taught me at all. He I could, changes quite a bit every year. He said I could turn people and save them like he did with me. But it hasn't worked at all, ever. You, he's a doctor. He didn't say that you'd be instantly able to. But after a hundred years, you would think I'd be getting the hang of it. Well, clearly, you're not. But you're also easily distracted. Not that easily. You remind me a bit of me when I started fencing. I thought I was doing everything just right. Thought I was a master at it. And then I realized what I was doing was messing up my leg after a month and a half. Of constant practice, I was using the wrong technique and it didn't work out well. If you're practicing, it doesn't mean you're doing it right. It means you could just be using the wrong technique. So you mean the nurse could have taught me the wrong technique? You could just remember that wrong. There's a bunch of possibilities. How long ago was it? Um, in the 1880s? Yeah, <laughs> maybe you could, use a, you could use a refresher. Modern doctors have to go through it, have to go through the four of them a year. I don't know what to do now. I mean, if you join me, you can party all you want, and I can do you what you want. All you have to do is work for me. 
Come, come, come. I want to party, Kismet. I want to party with you. I I want to I want to party with you too. You're so much fun to talk to. Thanks. I just like to go to concerts, and I just think the rave would be really really fun. Oh, and what, and once you meet the fanboys and the fangirls, your whole life changes. Because then I'll have donors. Yes, they they come to our raves. Just to be donors, because they, they love us so much. That's what I need, and I don't have to go hunt people down, and I'll maybe feel a little better about what I'm doing, even though I don't feel so bad about it right now. I don't feel bad about feeding. I, I just feel bad about the killing. I just use blood bags. That's all I've used. I've just been using, you know, animals plus, like, food and iron pills. I make it work. I don't know how long that'll last, but so far so good. Well, once you start thinning the herds out like I've been doing, the farmers get a little upset. So far, I've just had it in the fridge. Yeah, that was okay. It'll get worse, though, Gavin. I know. Eventually, you're going to have to do it. But, you know, I went after a deer, and then it was all a lot easier from there. Yeah, I mean, I gotta tell you, that was my experience, too. Plus, like, this awesome bitch lady helped me sun this bobcat, and then it just walked right up to me and let me drink from it. You know... You ate a bobcat? Yeah, it was amazing. I really want to try that. Also, when I was human, stupid deer, like, messed up my car so many times, almost killed me, Caused all of this pain that I had to begin with from my back hurting and everything, and now it feels good that I can just go out and eat them. They has has uh, the driver come by to pick anyone up? Not yet. All right. Remember, Kismet, my offer still stands. If you ever want to take it, you're welcome to find me. Oh, for heaven's sakes. What are you uh, doing in this chat anyway? This chat is for vampires. You are well, not I mean, a vampire. I'm in the body of what was once a vampire. That doesn't count. <laughs> Elizabeth turned Marco. Then they did the spell for Liberty to become part of Marco. Well, Marco is no longer a vampire, according to her and Liberty. So, oh, she apparently needs no one's help. Sounds like she's a vampire to me. She's a vampire who also has a human. Well, she's not doing much in the terms of being helpful to vampires other than trying to lure them into demonic deals. Well, because many people didn't want to be vampires when they got turned. Margot didn't want it. Gavin didn't want it. But yet, people were allowed to turn people whenever they wanted. I didn't mean to hurt Margo. I'm sorry. Margo has forgiven you, Elizabeth. Okay. She understands that you couldn't mm -hmm. control it. Meanwhile, you trick people into making deals. How is that any better? I don't trick anyone. Oh, I give them what they want. I mean, I have to. I know you. I know you're kind. I've seen them. You've seen us. Hmm. Offering the easy way out. Well, we do offer the easy way out. You just have to trade away something important to you. Isn't that how everything goes? You pay money, which is important to a lot of people, for goods, for services, for products. We just deal with a different kind of money. That people regret afterwards. Mm, that's where you're wrong. It's like vampirism. <laughs> Some but people regret it, but a lot don't. Oh, and then why do you have to chase people down to collect? Well, why is everyone chased down? It was fun to let him run around and see what trouble he could get into before mm -hmm. I took him. Oh, I'm sure that too. Excuse me. Admit it, you're a demon. Oh, I have never been. Shy in admitting I'm a demon. 
There has been no secret of that. I'm pretty sure everyone here has figured that out. You didn't need to to be so dramatic about that, sweetheart. <laughs> I feel like I a, feel like a monster, demon. monster demon. What's that, Elizabeth? I feel more like a monster demon. You are not a monster, dear. And you are certainly not a demon. <laughs> Teeth are sharp. Did you hear that? Oh, shit. What? What? I'm going to go check it out. Uh, no, don't let him go alone. Wait, yeah. No, you wait here. Don't open the door. Don't open the door until I think the room is outside. Can you do that? Yes. I'm texting now. Um, if it's something coming to attack us, can you tell what it is? I don't know. Gavin, are you okay? You guys, maybe I should go down there. Right yeah. Where did he go? Did he open the door? I don't think so. I remember it open. This isn't what you, how you said it would be, Goldie. Well, this isn't how I thought it was going to be. This is quite unexpected, I assure you. Goldie didn't know that werewolves were going to start attacking us. No, they've been quiet for centuries. We haven't had a problem with them. Well, and the witches are perfectly nice. I'm telling you. This is a problem. This is a problem. And like I said, I'm working with the Institute to try and solve this. It would go faster if I wasn't distracted. There's something outside again. I'm going to be very careful. Brandon, are your people still out there? Yep. I think the one thing you and I can agree on, Goldie, is that this this group of people is not the brightest when it comes to listening to instructions. I second You tell them not to open the door, you tell them not to go alone, and there they go, just wandering off into the darkness. Oh, that's, that's nice. This is the person who's offering deals. Insulting the very people that she's offering deals to. I'm not insulting them, I'm just saying, oh, seeing, we're seeing right now, the fact that we no longer have Elizabeth or Gavin in our chat. I'm fine, I'm fine. The car is here. They're frightened they're frightened and they're children. The car is You don't here. expect children to act like adults. Shit. Ben. Okay, okay. We're okay. Gavin! What is going on? There's something outside the door. He's holding it. I don't know. I'm gonna put a door. What is it? Be careful, be careful! Be careful. Take something silver! Something silver? Do you have anything silver? Uh, no. What, what do I have silver? In? Oh boy! Gavin! Oh, ah! I don't know what's going on. What a shock. Kismet! <laughs> You haven't known what was going on for decades now. I don't, ha I don't have anyone in that area. No. I can't and I, hear fast enough. I'm okay. My, the car's here for me. I just told him to wait because we're still talking. No, get in the car now because we need to find out what happened to them. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go. I'll, tr I'll try to... I'll try to be on, on voice chat from the car. All right. Please All be right. careful. I will. I'll come back on as soon as I'm in the car. Please do. Oh, this is unprecedented. Gavin, then if you can hear us, tell us something. 
Ghouls have always been like this. They go quiet for a few centuries, pop up trying to start flights, go back underground after a few centuries, and they get grass kicked. Mm. Cycle over and over again. Well, oh, there definitely will be. Definitely will be repercussions if this is lichens, but we don't know that this is lichens. It's There's not no us. I will, I will give you that. It is not us demons. We don't really bother you guys unless you're making deals or you've already made a deal and we need your soul or you just pissed us off in some way. But I don't think anyone's pissed us off recently. Really? really? So you're not maybe sending people to attack to prove that my turning people is wrong, perhaps? Well, if I was going to send anyone anywhere, it would be to act be sent after you, you know, it would make sense. If my grievances are with you, I would not attack people that Margo sees as at least somewhat close friends. I don't know. I think perhaps if they don't feel that they can be safe with me, then they'll all flock to you. It would make more sense for you to attack them. I don't attack people. Unless they deserve it, and these people don't deserve it. They've made choices, they've made their own decisions. I see. Besides, why would I send wolves after people? That's we not don't know that they're wolves. We have no reports that they're wolves. But you would know if it was my men. They oh, tend to... Smash the door in, you know, famous serial killers, famous political leaders, those kind of people. Hmm. I mean, I did send Jimi Hendrix after somebody. That was a failure. All he wanted to do was hang out with them, play his guitar. I say, if you're going to send somebody, don't send Hendrix. I was short on people. Everyone else was out doing things for me. He just wants to kiss the sky. <laughs> okay. Hey. Oh, my goodness. You guys okay? What happened? Giant fucking spiders. Spiders? What the fuck is this? I am correct. I have never seen that before. There were a bunch of them, but there were like two dozen of them. Oh. oh man, boss man is really sending out the heavy duty shit today. What's that? That big devil? devil. <laughs> Probably. The, he's the only one I've seen that's got anatomically incorrect spiders running around. You guys, I oh, know. So after you just told us this wasn't the work of demons. So oh, I just said I didn't do anything. I never said other demons. They might have problems with you, but I have no problems with them. So is this like, what, the heart soon? Oh, exactly. She attacks all of you and you all flock to her for safety. Wait, I didn't send them after you. No, I'm sure you didn't didn't get your hands dirty. Does anybody know if I'm going to die? Like, like, I bit that. that. You're going to be fine. No, you'll be fine. I just, I didn't know what to do, and I tried to punch it with spiders, so I bit one of them, and this is my life now. Well, did you kill it? Yeah. Yes. Well, there you go. Hey. Congratulations. You did very well. Is everyone still there? Killed most of them. We're still here, Elizabeth. Okay, I'm safely in the car. Um, Good. Brandon's guards are allowed with me, and um, I, I'm on my way. All right, Gavin and Zinn are all right. Uh, yeah, we're Good. Okay. Could we get some help here, though? Can anybody get? I'm, the car is coming. Do you want the car there? Do you want a car? I don't know. I don't know if we want to go anywhere. Could we just get like yeah. somebody to practice? To keep an eye on our apartment for a few days? Brent, Brandon, I hate to ask again, but do you have any... Oh, do you have any extra people? No, on the way, it's going to take, it's going to take a little bit, but they'll come in. Thank you, thank you very much. I mean, that was we're, we're a health organization. Wow. We're not a paramilitary organization. Maybe you should be a Brandon is. <laughs> I'm, well, you know, I'm wondering why demons are attacking new vampires who, as far as I can tell, have done nothing to deserve it. I mean, seriously, like, like Gav and I are really chill. I mean, okay, I can't with some witches this week, but 
they were really home which is to help them find it because it shouldn't get attacked like this. No, you shouldn't. And I find it a very odd coincidence that you're getting attacked and Liberty's here. Offering. Trust me, if it was me sending anything towards you guys, you would know. Oh, it doesn't have to be you, dear. But why would other demons be attacking them? I don't know. You guys got a family history? You got any weird cursed artifacts? You guys are history professors. Maybe you picked something weird up. It's not or like maybe you're interested in making deals and it's convenient to have demons attack. Or maybe you're being offer played. deals to people who want to make deals. They have both very clearly stated that they don't want to make a deal. So I'm not going to make a deal with them unless they Ooh. offer. Oh, well then why are you still here? Because Margo enjoys you guys. She enjoys her friends. And I have to share this body, so I figured I'd be fair. Well, why don't you bring Margo back then? Since she, to be she doesn't seem to want to deal with y'all. Well, then she's here. not here. Why is everybody fighting? Oh, I'm not fighting here. This I'm wondering why there's a fight. demon in our chat channel. Dr. Horatio wants to voice chat. I'll be right back. All right. Okay. If this was a fight, Elizabeth, you'd know this would be a lot worse. Hmm. I, I'm sorry, but <coughs> my house is attacked by the fight of five anatomically fighters. Well, I mean, they could have gotten us. I, that's fair. That's a terrible question. But if you that, I'm just saying. And, like, I get a giant spider. That's where my life is now. Right. A giant anatomically incorrect skeleton spider. Yeah. You were the one who chose to become a vampire. Nobody explained it to you, and that's something that needs to be discussed among vampires, is how new vampires are being treated. I mean, Goldie told me, you know, that I was going to be a vampire, and she told me what a vampire was, and but she did not, she didn't tell me it was going to be like this. I didn't. I didn't expect what happened to me either, but I don't think it was their fault. I mean, she said, you know, she said he would stop. <laughs> I mean, totally, like maybe you should prepare people better for the crazy things that's gonna happen. Well, if had I known that there was crazy things happening, yes, absolutely, and since. We have a problem. We will now have to introduce a new protocol. So I suppose it's a good thing. Uh, me, my house being attacked and demons going after people, and that's not... No, that's not a good thing. What I'm saying is being prepared for this sort of thing will be a good thing. Yeah, okay. I don't normally have demons attacking my, my new vampires. Hey, think about what my people are going to have to do, deal with. They don't know about any of this stuff. Well, I very much appreciate your help, Brandon. So how do you usually go down? People, What's that? How does this usually go down? So, like, Well, usually we have a nice chat and I answer your questions. And then, like I said, we open the door and release you out. We make sure that you're safe. Uh, Goldie, I'm... Yeah. Our cars are getting stopped by the, like, regular police. What do I do? Why are they getting stopped? I don't know yet. They just pulled us over. Well, don't, then... D don't worry. There's a car behind you. It'll, they'll flash a badge and that cop will just go away. Okay. Okay. Yeah, don't panic, dear. It's just, it's just policemen. Unless they start growing extra arms, in which case... In which case, we're not. <laughs> Anything is possible. Well, you see what demons do, folks. This is the least of what we can do. Uh, okay, then. The police are letting us go. Let's... Let's... Don't worry about it. 
See, you all thought she wanted to party. <laughs> I do still want to party. Is a demon. They're all the same. And who do you think made you, my darling? It was demons. People made deals, wanted to live forever, and demons decided this was how it was going to work best. So Nonsense. here you are. That's not how it went. Oh yeah, believe whatever little lies you all want to tell yourself to think that you're not connected to us. Where do you think you got the fangs from? The immortality from? The fae don't deal like this. Are you a master? I think not. Oh, for heaven's sakes, excuse me, I have a call. Is anyone wow. here in favor of just destroying her? I can do it. I can set her soul on fire. See how hard, how how strong this this lovely lady is. She's a really good resource, though. Yeah, look, Foley does seem to actually want to help us. Like, maybe she's a bit misguided, but I think she actually wants to help. Can we also stop talking about killing people this casually? Yes. What did you think was going to happen here? I mean, I'm irritated with Goldie, too, but murder seems a little bit excessive. I mean, you are a vampire. They, they feed off of blood. Morality does seem to have shifted. Morality hasn't shifted. Our circumstances have shifted. Morality is a sliding scale, sweetheart. <laughs> Whatever you make of it. I agree well, with the demon. True. It seems to me people won't ever say that when they're trying to justify doing something terrible to <laughs> All right. Has the van showed up anywhere else now? Uh, Liberty was just talking about destroying you. <sighs> yeah, that's what happened. Really? You're going to reduce yourself to that? I'm a demon, sweetheart. What did you expect? I expected you to leave the chat channel. No, I quite like it here. Hmm. It's fun to watch y'all squabble and freak out over petty little fights that'll go away in a few hundred years and disappear from the history books and then reappear later because you all follow the same cycles again and again and again. Plus, I don't want Margo to leave. Yeah. Margo doesn't seem to be here anymore. We just have this bitch. Margo needs me. Margo's still here. She just doesn't want to speak to Goldie. And as long as Goldie is here, Margo refuses to come out. It's funny, I've left I've left the channel several times and I don't think she's come out. Has she? No, but she's quite on board with the destroying you and dealing with this threat ourselves because it seems like vampires can't get their shit together for longer than a hundred years. Oh boy. Oh, yes, because demons have their shit together. Why do you think they fell in the first place? We have our shit together. We were an organized force when we fought God. God is just a little bit more powerful. Oh, so you admit there's somebody more powerful than you. How nice. Oh, no, God is dead. He died a long time ago. It's just us now. God is now. You're going to believe it. You're talking to a demon and you're a vampire. And you're, and you're shocked that God is real. It's a little scary when you've been in it for a while. Like, vampire is very sense in a world. So God's sending me to hell? Well, God doesn't send you to hell. You know, you just don't get in. And you can either just walk around... And just wander the earth and just do whatever you want to do as a ghost. Or you can go to hell. We're always looking for new friends. Hmm. Oh, yes, because yes. hell is so friendly. What do you think hell is? What do you care I'm just fascinated. You seem to you seem to think to, you know everything about demons. I'd like to know what you think. Well, I know very little about demons, except that they're evil. 
and they lie, and they scheme. Well, you seem to do most of those things as well. You seem to have lied to these people by omitting the truth. You don't tell them everything that is involved in becoming a vampire. And maybe somebody didn't want to drink blood. I mean, I knew I was going to have to drink blood. Yeah, but some people didn't pick it, like Margot and Gavin. Well, some people didn't pick having a deal with a demon. Every person who's made a deal made a deal of their own free will. They can regret it later, just like people can regret becoming a vampire. No, I know some cases where people were coerced because they had no other choice. Or were manipulated into it. Do you really want to know what hell is like, Goldie? Do tell. I can show you. You know, expose your soul to what hell is really like with the snap of my fingers. So. Well, are you I'm okay? Waiting. Are you okay? Me, I'm fine. Hey guys, I've got to go switch safe houses, so... Stay safe, Brandon. Thanks yeah, for helping us, Brandon. Bye. Bye. Oh, goodbye, bro. What the... Goldie? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, what it takes a little Goldie? bit. It's always fun. What did you do? I'm not able to disconnect now, obviously. We showed her what hell was like. You know, fire, brimstone, eternal punishment. Undo it. No. That I don't so like her. Margo doesn't like her. If she wants to test a demon. This is what she gets for testing a demon. I'll make a deal if you'll undo it. No. You're too sweet, Elizabeth. I don't want your soul. So it's not any fun. Is she okay? Whenever she shows back up, we'll find out. If she shows back up. Maybe it killed her. I don't care anyway. I hope not. Okay. Anytime will tell. I'm almost at the airport. Which is good. You will get to this precious institute that everyone wants to speak about. I don't even know what that is yet, to be honest. Looks like I'll be able to find out soon. Okay. Did you bring back answers? Did you enjoy your trip, Goldie? Goldie. Goldie, are you okay? Are you okay? Is that the best you have, bitch? Oh, not at all, but I felt like that was a nice little starter. Your soul is mine one way or another, sweetheart. All vampires go to hell. Oh no, my soul's not yours, sweetheart. I'm damned, you're the last person who's collecting. May not be me collecting, but I can put in a word with the big man. See what mm. he'll let me do to you. <sighs> and hell isn't so. the only option. Still want to make a deal with her, folks? are doomed to hell the minute they drink another person's blood, which most of us have done. There have been exceptions. There have been, but I hardly think Goldie is going to be one of those exceptions. Unless she wants to make a deal. We'll start knitting a sweater, sweetheart. Uh... And make it nice and warm. Oh, I can't wait to see you. Not happening. This is really... 
Well, you know, this would have all gone very smoothly if it wasn't for interference. Can you guys stop being at each other's throats and help the new guys? I am. I'm like sending that. a car. I am helping, unlike some people. Well, this is not my fight. This is between you and the wolves. I have no handling in this. I've only offered... There are no wolves. No. They're demons. We've confirmed that. I'm getting onto the helicopter. Good. My signal right. might cut out, but I'm I'm getting onto the helicopter. All right. If anybody else, please call that number. I urge you to go to the Institute. If we're dealing with demons, then we're going to have to call in specialists to deal with them. It might not be a bad idea. Perhaps those witches of yours could help. Oh, no, they're ours, too. You know, for a demon, you don't know much. Oh, I know a lot. I know a mm. lot more than those pretty little lies you all want to tell yourself. <laughs> Oh, lies like worms coming out of your mouth. Well, Although I have to admit, your resting fish face is lovely. Good, because it's all you're going to be looking at for the next eternity. <laughs> you two really hate each other. I didn't start it. Somebody attacked me. Look, I, I'm i getting on the helicopter. This is my last chance to check in. Is everybody okay? I'm fine. All right. Yeah, Be safe. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll see you there if I can talk to you. Know it. All right. I'm glad you two are at least together. Yeah. yeah. I keep my resources to the best from my bunk, so I'll probably stay there for a little while. All right. All um, right. Keep in, keep in touch. All right, Adriana, um, I'll talk to you as soon as I can, and uh, hopefully I'll hear from Kismet soon. All right, I'm, I'm signing off. I'm getting on to the helicopter now. Bye. All right, good luck. Good luck. Bye. Bye. All right, now who else, who else is coming? The driver wants to know where to go next. But if he's game, we'll, we'll join you. Yeah. Well, we, got, we got to talk about it. All right, that's fine. Just be careful. Okay. Do. I'm very concerned. So am I. Yeah, me too. <sighs> and I'm I'm on the phone with the institute. I'm I'm on text with them, and we're trying to sort this out and see what we can do. Okay. Best of luck, guys. Thank you for your help, Brandon. I appreciate it. Yes, I do. Thank you. Oh. All right, game All right. off. Woo! 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 All right, I'm yeah. sorry. Have we heard from Adriana? And